Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to try and attempt another show today. And today's show is going to be about uh, coax cable, specifically ABR Industries coax and how to order from their website because it can be a little bit confusing. We're going to cover that and a lot more right here, right now on Ham Radio for Non Techies. Welcome back to Ham Radio for Non-Techies, guys, where we try to get you to study for and pass your exams so you can get on the air and be a licensed ham operator as quickly as possible. If you're new here, please consider subscribing as uh, that will allow you to know when I do new videos. And normally, under normal circumstances, I put out a lot more videos than I have been recently. Anyway, guys, my name is Scott. My call sign is Kilo India 5 November Papa Lima, and I run the Ham Radio for Non-Techies channel. Uh, so I wanted to discuss uh, coax. And this came about, this whole idea kind of came about from a conversation. I was calling up, I, I was actually calling ABR Industries in response to a viewer comment to one of my videos from a few months ago. And he was stating that uh, these chokes that I use frequently on my on my channel, when I'm outside doing POTA or I have certain antennas, I put these chokes on. He's like, well, they don't sell those chokes anymore. I was like, that's impossible. I was just at a ham fest last month, just before my accident, and... Uh, they were there selling them, you know, in full force, had tons of them. So I wanted to go over how to do this because their website can be a little confusing if you've never been there. I probably would have set it up a little bit differently if I was if I built the site. But once I show you the trick here, it's perfectly fine. You'll 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 have no problem ordering uh, your own custom cable. And also keep in mind if you uh, worst come worst case scenario, uh, give them a call. You want to talk about top-notch customer service. I have never had such great customer service as I get with ABR Industries whenever I call them. Uh, a lot of times, Shannon, I think she's the owner, she answers the phone. Absolute joy to work with. Absolute just knowledgeable. And if she doesn't have the answer, she'll ask one of the guys in the back who does and get an answer for you right there. But I'm just saying your customer service experience with them would be fantastic if you had to call. And that's okay. Yeah, they I encourage you if you can't figure out something on the site or something, you, you don't see something. And we're going to find out if it's available or if they've got it is to, you know, give them a call. So do so. And uh, I'll put all their product or the information down below, website and phone numbers and stuff like that. So I think we're going to start off with how to order. So let me let me first go through a couple things. We're going to, we're going to do a simulation of ordering a choke like this. You see it's got the PL259 or SO239 and PL259 on the front and back. And this is a seven ferrite choke. They don't have these things. I really wish that these were a product on their website to choose between three, five, and seven ferrite chokes. That probably make life a little bit easier. But you can integrate these things into an actual cable. So this right here is their uh, 240, their uh, their their uh, 240 UF cable, I believe, with the seven ferrites. I've got it. I've got this cable like like like, like a choke. And over here, I actually have a spool of their uh, 240 cable, which is basically your, R your RG8X cable. And you can always tell you got the green things on here, but they have really good connectors on on, on their cables. And uh, I'll tell you what, this is from some of the highest quality cable I've ever used, and I've used quite a bit. The price really can't be beat. They do a really good job. They custom make everything and anything over there you want. Um, I even the reason why I was telling you about the uh, the choke thing here is that they also can integrate your choke into your coax if you wanted a permanent attachment. And I bought this uh, about a year or two ago. Works fantastic. But there's sometimes I don't want to have a choke on the other end of my of my cable, which is why I've got the alternative to put this on one of my other on one of my other coax cables that doesn't have anything to it. So let's get that down there. Okay. With that, guys, let's pop over to my desktop here real quick. We're going to go to ABR Industries' website, and I'm going to show you exactly how to use their coax builder. So you'll be an expert at this, and if you need to order your own coax, you can do so. So popping over here, first you're going to go to abrind.com. Links will be down below. That brings you to their, to their front page here. And uh, in the front page, you want to click on either consumer, or if you go up here to product information, 
you have a section right here called Amateur Radio Coax Builder, and that's pretty much what you want. So we're going to click there. That brings us into their Coax Builder. Now in here, you have a series of options, so you kind of have to know what you're looking for. And I'm going to kind of demystify a little of this for you. So your ABR 400 is similar to LMR 400, same thickness, basically same cable. It's their own labeling. Uh, the ABR 240 is the stuff I was just showing you. It's like the RG8X, and you can get that now in orange, yellow, red, or blue, which they started doing for people to go out and do POTA. It makes your coax cable more visible if it's lying on the ground, so that's a really cool idea. Uh, your ABR 600 is LMR 600, the much thicker stuff. Uh, ABR 214, I believe, is similar to RG8X, uh, as is the 213. It might be a little bit thinner. Um, and then you got your regular ABR 240, which is the stuff I've got here in the, with the black jacket on it. Uh, and there's a whole bunch of other ones here I've never seen before. ABR 316, however, uh, ABR 316 is this really, really thin stuff. And you can get that over at Ham Radio Outlet, or you can order it with custom connectors on it uh, directly from uh, ABR. And as you can see here, this is uh, 25 feet of this cable. So I wouldn't get it much much longer than 25 feet. I believe with the ABR 316 that after a certain length, you start getting uh, pretty significant losses. Uh, so 25 feet, if doing like a QRP thing or something like that, great cable for that. It'll work just fine. Okay, back to the website here. Okay, so let's say we're going to uh, build out a choke. You want to build one of these little chokes that I had here. Well, this is a one-foot piece of coax, so a one-foot piece of 240. So first of all, we'll choose our cable. We'll come down here to ABR240. That's the regular one, unless you want it in some kind of a color. The regular ABR240 UF. And then we choose how many feet. So we got one. One foot is in there, I believe. Let me see. Nope, that makes 11 feet. We want one foot. So one foot. And then here you choose what connectors you want on each end. So you can completely customize this to be anything you want. And they have a whole bunch to choose from here, whether you want to do uh, the end, end connectors, SMA connectors, TNC, the UHF uh, are the regular SO239 and PL259s. Uh, you can keep it, leave it open or stripped. You can add in BNCs. You have BNCs down here. So for the interest of keeping it uniform with this one, we're going to do a UHF SO239 on one side and a PL259 on the other side. So for connector A, I'll come up here, and we will choose UHF male, and that will bring up a picture of what we just chose. So that's, the, that's going to be the male side. And then the connector B, we'll choose UHF female, and shows you that connection there. So here's a cool thing that they do. I've never seen anybody else do. And this is kind of a recent thing, I guess, in the last year or so. You can personalize the heat shrink that's on your cable here. And they'll, they'll do a custom sleeve for you. So if you'd like to, for an extra $5, you could add in, like, say, uh, say your call sign. So KI5NPL. And they'll put they'll print that on the little green jacket, so that now puts a little ident ID onto your coax. Kind of cool, might be gimmicky, but you know if you want to do that, extra five bucks, no big deal. So now we've come up with our cable type, the length, the connectors, and now we've added a little personalized heat shrink. Now you come down to the ferrites, so we can drop this down. Like I said, I've got this one here is a seven ferrite ch uh, choke. So seven ferrites, thirty-one ninety-five. Boom! You got a total of here of fifty-three oh eight. Add to cart, ready to go. So that is a pretty simple way to operate and get this uh, get get this thing going. Let's try something else here. Let's uh, let's kill this off. We'll hit none, and we'll go back up here. Let's we'll say we want some of this uh, ABR two forty, but we want it in orange. Oh, that says ABR 400, ABR 240 in orange. There we go. Sorry about that. And say I want. All right, so say this is another cool thing about ordering your cable. Say you don't want a whole 50 feet. Maybe you only need 35 feet. You can order what you want, get what you pay for, right? 
So let's say we're going to do, well, I'm just, you know, just keep it simple. We'll do 50 feet. So 50 feet of that stuff there. We want to do UHF male crimp on one side, and we want to do the same for the other side for a solder and crimp. So there you go. You got your, your perfect coax. Again, you can choose whether or not to personalize your tag for yourself. If you want to add in a permanent choke, you can do that here. But say you don't want to do that, you're looking at $74.50 plus shipping, uh, maybe tax, to uh, get that to you. If you want to order up uh, ABR 400, the, uh, let's just, uh, let's see. We're going to do the regular black. So we want 50 feet of that, right? And use our UHF things there. And yeah. Okay. So 92.50 for 50 feet of ABR 400. So you get the idea. It's not that difficult if you know what you're doing. My biggest problem is that when I am choosing, and, uh, and this is something maybe they can fix down the road, they made like a page that would show you the breakdown of what the ABR 400 is in, in diameter and size and thickness versus the ABR 240. I know they have data sheets on this. And it gives you the measurements, but I got to sit there and go out. And now I got to get a little, you know, micrometer and, <laughs> and try to, you know, figure out what the thickness is. It'd be nice to kind of see and be able to relate it to something on their site. Um, maybe that's something that they can work on down the road. I know they're constantly adding to the site and doing more stuff. But I think, you know, if you guys follow this, you can order custom coax. You can get whatever connectors you want. You can put BNC on one side and put, uh, put, put the... Uh, PL259 on the other side if you want. It just depends on what your needs are for your radios. Let me go back to my main camera here. We're pretty much done with this. Using ABR coax has been a wonderful experience for me. And I I don't think I'm going to use any other coax. I mean, I think this, is, this has become my official coax. I know there's a bunch of other ones out there, some really high-end stuff out of Italy. And, you know, I'm sure they're they're okay and they're good and they're great in their own way. But these guys are right here in Houston. I mean, I can literally uh, order something around when they open and go pick it up around 1 or 2 o'clock, depending upon how busy they are. They can custom make your stuff, have it ready for in a couple of hours. If you're local, you can go up and pick it up and save on the shipping and stuff. And you get to walk around their facility and check them out. I mean, it's a really, really cool place. Um, but like I said, you know, the, the, uh, the customer service there is outstanding. The quality of their cable is outstanding. Their pricing is very competitive with stuff out there, much better than anything you can get off Amazon. And um, I think that's if you, this is this is an investment in your radio and in your uh, performance of your gear. And I think you guys would really benefit from this. You know, you may have your own favorites. That's fine. It's a free country. You can do what you want. Uh, I just wanted to show people how to get into this website, how to navigate through it, and how to order something. And it's, it's actually pretty simple. So hope I hope this video helped you guys out. Anyway, guys, I want to wrap this up here. I can't make it a really long video. Still struggling with keeping <laughs> up right here without a neck brace. Um, I do want to take a quick moment to thank all of my Patreon or my Patreon patrons. Um, I appreciate the support. Everything helps out right now. Um, if you want to join my Patreon, you can go to uh, patreon.com forward slash HR4NT and sign up for any tier level you wish. I'm still working on trying to get some benefits for you guys. I'm thinking about maybe doing a uh, Q&A live once a month with the with the patrons. Uh, so that's something I really want to, I want to play with. I also, um, just on a slightly somber but uh, thankful note, um, I want to thank all of you that have supported me and made donations to the GoFundMe that Jason from Ham Radio 2.0 set up. Uh, every little penny helps at this point in time. Uh, there are some really massive bills coming in, and uh, yeah, it's it's going to be it's going to be a struggle. So uh, anyway, I do appreciate that. If you could, if you do want to uh, donate, it's you can look it up. I, I think my last video had a link for it in there. Um, anyway, guys. Again, if you are brand new here or if you like you like the video you saw today, please consider subscribing down below. Just click on the subscribe button, click on the little bell, and you'll be notified when I do new videos. 
Also, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up because that will help YouTube's algorithm see that people like this video and it will show it to more people that might be doing a search for the similar topic and I'll pop up there number one like I should. All right, guys. Well, I appreciate the time we got to spend together. I'm going to go back to recovering a little bit more and uh, get some more rest and relaxation. And um, I, I uh, will see you guys soon. I hope you guys have a great week and have and stay safe out there. Until then, this is Ham Radio for non-techies, and we are...